London on a very blustery day. Not the ideal day to be painting outside, but thank goodness for sketchbooks and digital cameras, I can actually get the information I need and be able to paint this fantastic view of the city from the embankment. The light is really quite low and the tonal difference isn't great, but the top of the Canary Wharf Tower is light against the darker of the sky. And that's the thing that's attracted me. And there's other buildings, slightly darker in tone, each one slightly different, and then the bridge in front, darker still. And then I may or may not include the boats. They're a stronger accent, might be too much. And then this plane tree in the front with its lovely bobbly seeds, that's probably going to be my composition. back in the studio and I've made a sketch from my reference. First I'm going to wet the paper with water to ensure that the washes blend and I'm leaving out from this wet wash anywhere where I don't want any colour to come to start with. In other words the lights. That Canary Wharf tower was lighter than the sky behind. That's what attracted me. Often people make the mistake that the whites are light. Most of these whites are actually uh, shaded by the low light. So it's only the actual highlights, those places that are going to be retained as white paper that I need to leave out from this wash. The white on the bridge face is one of those whites that isn't really white. So I'm going to take the brush across, but the whites on the little boats because they are top lights lit from above, they are catching the light. So if in doubt, think of your positions. And I'm going to wet right down to the water just to make sure it all blends because the water reflects the colour of the sky. And I'm going in with two colours here, aureolin to catch the light on the plain leaves and then a mauve made from Prussian blue and alizarin crimson, which will make the grey when it goes with this Aureolin. So this is coming across the sky and what I will do to enable me to go straight across with the next wash is I'm going to, something I don't normally do but I want it to dry quickly, is I'm going to dab the area around the leaf so that I actually don't have to wait too long before putting in this the grey wash over the top. And I'm not taking it all the way, I only feel it across this area here and then I'll reflect it in the water below. It's an underwash. I'm using a size 14 brush and then I'm quickly just going to dab either side of the leaf just so that the, I get a crisp edge to the edge of those leaves. And now I'll come in with my dark sky wash, dark at the top, leaving out those light, the lights of the leaves where they flutter light against dark. I've got to make this significantly dark. The trouble when you work from photographs is that you often read them too literally. And I've got to remember what I saw out there was this, um, the, the light of Canary Tower, light against dark. Keeping at back the highlights of the leaves. top lights of those little towers coming down and I'm taking the colour off the brush now as I come down to where the buildings are dark against a dark sky but a lighter sky. Sounds like gobbledygook doesn't it? A darker, lighter, dark sky. But that's how you have to think. You're comparing relative tone and tone stands out against a contrast of tone. So if it's too dark by the uh, bridge, then these darker buildings won't look dark against it. And there's quite a lot of light catching the top of those buildings. And on top of the bridge, although it's quite difficult to see in a photograph, there was just the light catching the top of the bridge. Oh, I just remember that little red bus. I'm just gonna put a little bit of red into this wet wash. On a dull day, Colours are indistinct one from another. So I can run this red into the wash while it's wet 
and then it won't be so prominent. Otherwise they tend to stick out from the background. The bridge itself is white and red, but it isn't lit from above. So I don't want the colour to be too strong, and in fact I'm going to take the uh, mauvey colour off and just get Prussian blue for across the face of this bridge because Prussian blue makes a lovely shaded light. Keeping the top of the bridge light and actually I could bring in some other I could bring in some other vehicles above the bridge while that wash is wet above there. We've got blue vans so a little bit more Prussian blue. And I think maybe we'll have another red, another red over here on the yellow. We'll show up a bit less. And we'll make that a little bit not too dominant. And we'll make a little green with a little bit of Prussian blue in the aureolin. Just so we've got them slipping in while the wash is wet. Now we're coming down under the bridge. The photograph tends to print up much more harshly than the view that I saw, so I've, I've got to remember it was much more gentle, much more sensitive than what I'm seeing in the printed form. Now, I'm coming across the water. I want to keep it light. It's reflecting sky above, and it's not as white as the light on Canary Wharf. So this is a light wash. But I can leave a little bit of light out of this wash. And while that wash is still wet, just a little bit of reflection below the bridge. Because even though we can't see it in the photograph, it will be just dropping its shadow into the water. Just take it across. Now I've got to let that wash dry before I can put anything else on because I'm going to use my flat brush and bring out the buildings with the various greys. But it needs to be dry. I want a crisp edge. <laughs> 